Hey guys, it's Mike here, Pancake Breakfast Club. So, we're going to start a series on the new motor for my Dord S10. Um, some of you might have seen the video on United by Trucks where we put a 383 stroker motor in my Dord S10. But over a year and a half ago now, um, just before Christmas 2021, 2022, 2021. And uh, anyway, so some of you know that that motor was short lived. I purchased the motor from a gentleman and it was uh, supposed to be, uh, you know, this crazy 383 stroker with this you know crazy rotating assembly crazy valve train crazy camshaft blah 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 um so ever since i got the motor it leaked oil like like it was more oil was coming out of the motor than it was staying in so that was kind of my first you know inclination that maybe something was not correct with the motor so i tore the valve covers off to fix uh, oil leak on one of the valve covers and uh, a couple of the rocker arms was just laying in uh, the valve cover so I had maybe six six miles of drive time on that motor and ever since I put the motor in it was very, it was very lackluster there was not a lot of power to it and it was just wasn't very great so after I found the valve train was screwed up, we pulled the motor out and I tore it down and just about the only thing that was in the motor that was said was in the motor when I purchased it was a Lunati camshaft. Everything else in the motor was not there. The heads were wrong from what he told me the heads were. The rotating assembly was a stock 350 rotating assembly so it wasn't even a 383 stroker. Um, actually it did have some dish pistons in it, but they were, uh, they weren't, um, JE pistons or whatever the guy claimed they were. Um, and if you don't know a lot about blowers on the intake manifold of a blower, there's like a blow off plate that keeps it. If the blower backfires, which they do sometimes, uh, that plate opens up and lets that backfire out instead of damaging the blower well that plate was on there but it was so loose that even if the blower had built any boost it was just going right out that port it wasn't you know it wasn't even boosted at that point so yeah I kind of got hosed uh, I spent a bunch of money on that motor and um and it wasn't anything close to what it was supposed to be so I saved up a bunch of uh, my own money again and being out the first money for the first motor that I was you know kind of like well I don't know if I want to do this again like I've already got a ton of money in it like uh, let's just call it quits and then just put a regular 350 back in the S10 and be done with it well after some debate with the gentleman that sold me the motor he ends up sending me back like 40% of what I paid him for the motor so I decided that with that money I would rebuild the motor the correct way and then obviously we went above and beyond what the, the original motor even was so now we're like even even dumber on top of that so the next couple videos you'll see us reassemble the new motor and then put it back in the truck and then we're going to take it to mini truck and nationals hey guys so we're actually at Evan's house. You might remember less than Evan on Instagram. He uh, helped Robbie out with the engine for mud. So we're actually here doing the engine for my S10 now. And uh, Goza Machine and Ackworth did the short block. What we're doing is we're going to put the engine together and measure for push rod length, set the uh, cam run out and everything, and then paint it and then reassemble the long block of the engine and then take it back over to my shop and get it all put back in the S10. But I'm gonna show you a little tutorial on how to measure 
push rod length if you got like a hydraulic roller lifters or something where you got to change from a factory push rod length measuring for your push rod length what you want to do is take your head obviously you gotta take your head off or whatever but you take your bell spring out and then you put in like just this really small low what would you call this thing just a lightweight just bell, a spring lightweight checker. bell spring checker and then reassemble it and everything and then mark the top of your valve with some dicum or sharpe and then obviously put your lifters in and then you need a fancy tool which Evan has hoarding over here it's an adjustable push rod so what you do is you adjust this in and out roughly to where you need it before you start and then you put this in you put your rocker arm on and your hold down and then you roll the engine over a few times and you see where that roller from that rocker is riding on the valve so if it's out too far you need to shrink the push rod down if it's in too far you need to make the push rod longer so then you just basically do this step a bunch of times until you get that wear mark right in the center of that valve stem and then you call summit and order new push rods all right so we got the push rod length figured out and we've taken the head back off now another thing you got to worry about when you're building a small block chevy with a full roller camshaft is the camshaft will walk in and out of the block because there's nothing to hold the camshaft in the block like if you get a flat tappet camshaft the camshaft is actually tapered which walks the camshaft back in the block and holds it in the block so if you do full roller then there's nothing to actually hold the camshaft in the block it just goes in and out which can retard your timing so when your camshaft walks away from your distributor it'll actually retard your timing which is super no bueno when you're doing the boost so we can't be retarding timing so what you do is you get a timing chain cover that has provisions for a cam button in it and then you adjust your end plate your camshaft with your cam button behind your timing chain cover so we've done that now we're pretty much ready to paint the block which we did a pretty cool color and then we're going to start assembling it rocky's here hey everybody yeah. how are you everybody four people <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so anyway we're gonna file off some of the sharp edges on here get some of the casting flash off and then uh prep it for the el paint arena Stay tuned.
might need to hold that motor straight. I got it. <laughs> oh, I go. Yeah, there you go. On this side. There you go. Who in the right man? Good thing it's only a small block. Yeah. Well. Let me see. So who's going to tell them that the transmission is not the same color as the motor? It's actually a good combination. <laughs> as the motor. <laughs> hey Mike, the transmission is a different color than the motor. Here, tighten up one of these. You're kicking it really bad. Yeah. Spin what? You want it, make sure the impact's spinning, then stab it in there before it strips out the Allen. The bad thing is, I don't, I don't, I hate doing Allen issues. Mm hmm. We're going to get the torque wrench out on this because I'm afraid that we're going to. Like that first one kind of caught there. Oh, this thing slick. Made already feel like it's about to break. I ain't worried about breaking them. I'm worried about rounding out the thing. I'm worried about breaking the bolts. Oh, it's just that tight. You ain't gonna break them bolts. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the right one? Yeah, the next one up wouldn't fit. Is that metric or standard? Uh, yes. Or is that metric or standard? Those are, that's metric, I know that. What? I mean, that's standard right there. Are those metric or standard? Those are standard bolts, but if you have that's a metric right. socket. No, that's no, standard. 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 Okay. Sure you the thing that's, up that <laughs> that's the transmission, Mike. Let me see if I can break that. We'll wipe it off once it's in the truck. We'll, we'll take the transmission cover and the floor off and then wipe them off. I got you, Mike. It's clean. Dang it, Troy. Actually, what we'll do is we'll just, yeah, we'll just right lay up. a rag over the top of it before it goes in. And every time before a show, you can just pull it a couple of times to wipe it. There you it. go. There's always a solution, Mike. <laughs> Is that the one you gnarled a little up down there? I didn't gnarl anything up. That's where I quit uh, tightening it. to go Trey. Can you give a gas? I ain't gonna fire it up for like an hour.
rag that you uh, crammed in there. That, the Crammed rag ain't that thick. <clears throat> Where does it, does it bolt on towards the back? No, it bolts on them three bolts in the front. That's what I thought. Taking up the old man, it's gonna go towards Wesley. Yeah, like right there. Remember we had the same issue last time. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I'm gonna. I, mean, I'm, I just need I'm to go straight back now. It needs to come to you. I'm, well, hang on, right, right there. I can get my bolt in. <clears throat> we can't though. On this side. How far out are you though? Yeah, it's hitting the old pin. It's hitting over here on the. Yeah, but it'll fall in, I think. This side. I'm just trying not to scratch the damn thing to pieces. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, oh god, damn it! Try it now, Trey. I, we can almost get. Uh, Take it back up again. Hang on, 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 You got one in, Wesley? Yep. Oh! Where'd the other one go, Wesley? It's falling Fair off, yeah. Hang on, I got a second one in, too. Hang on. Where'd it go? It hit the ground. Hang on, Wesley. If we can get, we can get one or two of these in, then I can let down. I got two in. Come on. All right. I can't look at this thing going to come down. Here, Wesley. See, let's see. They're both way in there. Huh. Uh, you'll have to come back down with this back one. I can't. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let me get this one a little. There you go. All right. I can't tell if that one's stored in there or not. I had it going and y'all shifted uh, it. Sorry. You know what our problem was? We had a spacer that you didn't have to put in. So <laughs> actually we can't we can't tighten these up right now anyway. Go put the trans cross member in. Look, Trey, don't start whining because you had to deal with an extra washer, okay? <laughs> that's not a washer, it's plate. It's whatever you want to call it. Plate. <laughs> Alright, well buff, well buff. Take it loose. Yeah. Just pull them out. Can you handle them or you need some help? Let me come in and do it for you. I mean, I'm, it's funny because he, he's making fun of you. <laughs> it's funny because uh, Mike had to come finish your ball for you. <laughs> no, he did the bottom one. That is kind of funny though. It is. It is. Damn, Wesley. Damn, Trey. Golly. <laughs> this thing made it down 14 miles of I 20 just to get to the shop and get chained up by Wesley and Trey. <laughs> Lift it up. Quit your or back up. So we got the motor in the truck. So everything everything's hooked up. Now the next step in the next video, what we'll do is I'll put all the accessories on the motor, carbs, you know, linkages and all that other stuff. And uh hopefully, you know, run it down the road for the first time in over a year and a half. But uh yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and uh, leave a comment below on what you think about what you're looking at. So, see you guys on the next one.